There you go. Little is just enough. Too much can be dangerously toxic. Mm, thank you very much. You got to date them. Well, I never said that. Well, why else would you be borrowing perfume? Because my other one gave me a rash, so I'm just trying it out. Oh, you know nothing about women. <laughs> Ooh, look at you. Why aren't you going to add some class to a scrapyard shed? Has uh, Charity left any paperwork for me? Yeah. You know when they talk about front office totty for the drivers, you're not what they usually have in mind. That's hilarious. Well, seriously, though, why are you dressed like that? I've got meetings! Have you spoke to Liv anymore about the sentencing? No, and it doesn't matter because we're not going. Why are you still here? I don't feel well. I'm not going to school. Again? I'll leave you to it. Go and get dressed. I told you, I've got a tummy ache. I'm not going. Oh, listen, if she's got a tummy ache... Yes, then... if. Oh, well, just like you said, you really know it's nothing about women, does he? Thanks, Bob. Well, congratulations, I guess. Thanks, I guess. Actually, um, seeing as you're here, you can tell me what I should do with this for having off his dad. Yes, yeah, sir, I don't follow. Well, I passed across the inside. I knew that I was local. Although, I'm not sure how I feel about running messages for sex offenders. So, you gonna give it to him? Uh, Pete, don't tell him about this, all right? And, uh, welcome back, by the way. You know the other day? Every day is the other day, unless it's this one. All right, then. The day you were trying to nick something from my room. Yeah, I wasn't stealing, I told you. I think I have an idea of what you might have been looking for. So I've been out. To the chemist to get you something. For when it's your time of the month. I don't have any money. I know, love, I'm sorry, we'll sort that out and all. Hey. I was 14 too. It was a Friday night when it first happened to me, and do you know how I can remember? I reckon it's the only time I've left a party without getting chucked out. Come here, you. It never even occurred to me, I didn't think she was old enough. What, didn't you learn about this in school? I'll give you some money. Hey, I'm pretty sure there's a book we can get him on how it all works. <laughs> it's my fault and all. I should never have left it all down to you. She needs a woman. Yeah, don't we all? Oh, I'm sorry, mate. Didn't see you there. <laughs> Come on, you. We'll have an early lunch at the pub and then we'll have a few awkward conversations. <laughs> hey, have fun, mate. Gotta help you two if you ever have a daughter. Oh. Aaron's had a letter. Right. Old fashioned, granted, but people still do send them. Not off Gordon. Pete gave it to me. I don't know what to do with it. He says he can't cope with everything being left how it is. What does he mean, can't cope? He's trying to guilt him, isn't he? That's how he operates. If Aaron doesn't come see him, if Aaron doesn't forgive him, if Aaron doesn't do as he's told... Right, so where's the letter now? It's at home. OK, well, you're going to have to hand it over. Whoa, 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 don't give me that. All right, what if he finds out later down the line that his dad reached out to him? Tried to say sorry. You can't say sorry for stuff like that. <sighs> if Aaron reads it, it's going to mess him up again. He doesn't have to read it. Well, he's not going to be able to help himself if it's there in front of him. Robert, just give it to him. Let him decide that, yeah? 